Hello everyone, welcome back to Autopilot at Work. Today I'm excited to kick off a new series where we automate a common task using UiPath. Here's the deal. I have a task to send a summer report every month. And this summer report is created from leads data captured from web forms and then exported to SFTP server. Instead of using scripts like Python to write code, I decided to use UiPath no code solutions to automate this entire process. In this three part series, I will walk you through every step. First, we'll fetch the data from SFTP, and then we will create a pivot table from that data. And finally, we will send the report as an email attachment. So let's get started with fetching the data. In order to connect to your FTP or SFTP server, you need FTP activities package. To install the package, we need to go to manage packages. And then under all packages, just search FTP. And then we need to install UiPath FTP activities. So I have had this installed. So once you have installed it, just save it and then it will be, a, will be available to you under the activities sidebar. So let's search FTP scope. So this is the first activity we need to establish connection to our FTP or SFTP server. In this video, I'm going to connect to my SFTP server. So I will use SFTP and then I will enter the details of my server. So this has to be a string value. So make sure you put double quote and enter your IP address of the host or the hosting for your server. And then the port I'm going to use is 22 for SFTP. For FTP, uh, it will be 21. And then I'll enter my username in string as well. And then I'll create a variable for my password. And then I'll put in my password as a string as well. Once I have successfully connected to my SFTP server, I want to check whether the file I'm going to download exists in the server. If it doesn't, then I'll do nothing. If it does, I want to download it to my local disk. Therefore, the next activity I need is an activity called file exist. And I need the path to my file, which I need to go to my remote server and just grab the file name. And this activity will return a Boolean value, which is either true or false, depending whether the file exists. And now I need to create a variable for this output. I'll create a variable called file exist. So if the file exist equals to true, then I will download it to my local computer. So the next activity I need is a if statement. So if 
fall exist equals to true then I will download the file so the next activity I need is a download files activity from the FTP package so this the remote path and and I will need to also give the local path where I need this file to be downloaded to I'll go to my folder and just put it here and that is all let's run the workflow and see whether we can successfully download the file from our SFTP server let's run the workflow We have successfully downloaded the file. This is a sample leads file that we are going to use for our next video. And this is the correct file. And that's it for part one of our series on how to automate pivot table creation in UiPath. Today, we have successfully fetched our data from SFTP server. In the next video, we'll dive into how to create pivot table from this data. So be sure to tune in. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next part of the series. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it down below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Happy automating. Ciao.